I don't consider myself a bad person. On the whole, I consider myself a good person. I'm good to my parents. I treat my girl right, take her out and buy her stuff. And I go to church every Sunday. But I've decided that I just once want to do a really seriously bad thing. Because you know, like we're put on this earth with free will. We can choose to do this or that. We can choose to be good or bad. But sometimes I think most people are good and not bad only because they're scared they might go to jail or hell or someplace. So what is it to be this one bad thing? It's gotta be something completely cruel and horrible and unnecessary and, and motiveless because getting caught is not on my agenda. There's an old disused sewer shaft out in a place I know where no one goes. I thought I'd kidnap a little girl and chain her up down there and leave her weeping and wailing in the dark till she starved to death. You gotta understand, I'm not some kind of pervert or anything like that. But anything I can do to make her ordeal worse and ruin the lives of her family, I'll do. But somehow, this isn't enough. It's gotta be a bigger thing somehow. Something that'll leave a mark on more people, like the killing of John Lennon. I thought about the Pope, but he's always surrounded by those Secret Service guys and riding around in his bulletproof Pope mobile. And well, I don't get over to Italy very often. In fact, never. I gotta choose my victim for the sake of convenience. It's gotta be someone who doesn't have an armed guard. Someone right here in Gotham. It's gotta be the Batman. It'll be no problem. I got a gun. My dad gave it to me. He's got a whole collection. He's a great believer in a citizen's right to bear arms. It's a gun like a million others in the city. I'll do the deed. My dad taught me how to shoot too. Then I'll leave the scene. I won't leave a calling card, a double-headed coin, a coded riddle, and I won't laugh like a madman. I'll just leave without a trace. I mean, for all I know, right now he could be at a secret hideout somewhere, hunched over his secret surveillance system, monitoring everything I record on this tape. But I'm sure he isn't, because he's one of the good guys. And spying on innocent people would be wrong. No. Right now he's on the trail of some criminal. His great bat wings unfurled against the night sky, striking terror into the hearts of the guilty. An inspiration and comfort to the innocent. He'll sadly be missed, especially by me. One day he'll be face to face with Two-Face, or tangling with Poison Ivy, or in the lair of those three guys with animal masks whose names I can never remember. At last, the villain will know the game's up. Throw your brolly down, Penguin. Make me. There will be a fight and a thrilling chase involving an enormous typewriter or something a swift and decisive climax. The good guy will make a dramatic exit, leaving the bad guy to ponder the error of his ways. Because let's face it, crime doesn't pay. And just for one moment, the Batman will pause, turn his face illuminated by a single light, a splendid avenger of the night. And from a dark alley or a window high up, or a grassy knoll, or some other place. There will be a glint, and then, and he'll be dead. Yes, I shall miss him all right. I don't mean I won't hit him. No, the bullet will find its mark all right. As I said before, I'll miss him. I've always been his greatest fan. I'm also his greatest enemy. 
Before anyone finds him lying on the ground, I'll be long gone. I'll destroy this tape. I won't leave a clue. I'm an innocent guy. Then I think I'll finish my college education, marry my girlfriend, and have a couple kids. A boy and a girl would be nice. Live a good and blameless life and go to heaven when I die.